Here's Daniel's True View forecast. 46 degrees in Lafayette right now. Clear skies across the area. You've got winds coming in out of the north northeast at three miles an hour. I've relaxed a little bit this morning, but I do think that they pick back up again as we go through the day. They'll hover right around that 10 mile an hour range. That uh, puts wind chill into effect. It feel quite chilly outside, especially early morning, late night. Uh, as you would imagine, that's when it's going to be the coolest, but the afternoons shouldn't be too bad. It'd be kind of one of those days where maybe it's a little too warm for a jacket, but then maybe a little uh, too cool to go without one. So you'll you'll just be fluctuating between the two. You'll have plenty of sunshine, though, as you do so as you get into the afternoon right around noon. You'll see everything stays very nice, clear, calm conditions across the board. Now, the calm conditions overnight are going to allow temperatures to really drop. Clear skies, no real wind tonight. We'll see those lows get back down into the 40s this evening. Chilly start to the day tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine on the day Saturday, though. And actually, Saturday looks like a really nice day. It's a few degrees warmer than what we'll get. We'll see the highs up to around 73 tomorrow as opposed to 70 today. Future cats a little aggressive with these clouds. I, I don't quite buy it. I'd say that these clouds probably arrive a little later on in the day or in the in the night rather and then as you go through the day on Sunday a few more clouds popping up across the area but even then you're still going to be seeing some sunshine by Sunday so it's just not a bad forecast at all 70 degrees for your high today winds out of the northeast 5 to 10 miles an hour cool and crisp conditions you'll get a, a light cool breeze throughout the course of the day today here's what we've got coming up 70 today 73 tomorrow after a chilly start to the morning on Saturday and then it is smooth sailing all the way through to the end of that forecast period. Temperatures do warm up though, and that's going to be out ahead of a front. It'd be really interesting to see how that front shapes up over the next uh, several days as we get closer and closer to the holiday week. Looks like we may end up with a round of dry, cool air headed into Thanksgiving. Guys, 